and I also want to make money. How am I going to do this? Because <laughs> it's just not. Yeah, a lot of the changes happening with Instagram has caused it to be a place where almost everyone now is trying to sell themselves one way or another. Everyone is, it's, it's, the atmosphere encourages everyone to kind of become like a content creator or a digital creator or whatever such that you know it's no longer that app where we just come to to share images and to laugh like okay what is one thing no one prepared you for on being a digital nomad i'll go first i just started walking towards marriage that's what i'm saying and that's not where i am what what really um, informs my loneliness, I think, is a So I just received feedback from a friend who I asked to ask his brother who's in the field in web design and who's <laughs> I told him I was having some frustrations with my site and I asked him to help me ask his brother what he thought. My friend got back to me today and <laughs> his brother's feedback which was interestingly similar to a feedback that I received from a friend who was also a creative yesterday. And this feedback was that it was confusing. This is a visual representation. <laughs> it sucks. I would rather you understand something and hate it than like be just completely confused. And I think that this question of like, what exactly is this website supposed to be about tugs at my heart because <laughs> it's a question that I ask about my life um, What is your life about? No, or what I was going for was an online home it's giving Jack of all trades master of none and I realized that I had a blog a separate portfolio I had article like i just felt like my work was in too many different places and i just wanted a central place for my work and that was what i set out to do to anyone else who has told me they really like this like that that doesn't take away from that like but i also know that honestly the site has been stressing me out yes. i cannot say what's wrong or right no. it's not that sometimes not knowing what you want isn't always that you have absolutely no clue, no ideas, or anything like that. Sometimes not knowing what you want could be wanting too many things at the same time. I want to run a blog, I have a podcast arm, I have a YouTube arm all at the same time. Girl, are you insane? You know, I think that it's also important for me to be able to receive feedback that I may not like and that it's okay for me to not like it because it feels like I failed. Okay, what is one thing no one prepared you for on being a digital nomad? I'll go first. The loneliness. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's lonely out here, cuz. So my, um, my phone died. <laughs> and I decided to take a nap a couple hours ago. That was a couple hours ago. In front of me, tested one, two, five. Okay, two more things. Lo 
loneliness. So I find that I'm lonely in a way that feels difficult to speak about um, because I, I, I am blessed to have people in my life who I know love me and who I know care about me. But there's a certain um, type of intimacy and friendships and within community that I miss. And I'm currently traveling solo. I don't know if I've actually ever mentioned that, but I'm a digital nomad. I'm a single black Nigerian woman who travels solo, who is 29 years old. And I find that my loneliness comes, and that's not to say that I don't want romantic relationships and everything like that, but my loneliness comes from not having other people around me on this journey who are also pursuing the same things that I'm pursuing. I don't, I'm not um, marriage averse. I am not, I don't have a, I don't want children of my own, but I don't, I'm not against children or being a nurturer or a teacher or anything like that. But I want my life to be about me and I want the people, yeah, I, 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 I guess that's what it is. Instead of seeking the traditional path, I'm seeking a path of self-actualization and you know, while that does contain some traditional aspects, I find that it's so completely different because a lot of my friends right now are either planning to get married or about to be married or married. And if we're being honest, our needs and our wants and our desires in our lives are just different. And it's difficult not having people around you who are currently walking the same path as you. And I've also realized that I'm not as relationship um, in the traditional sense of like, by this time in my life, I should start prioritizing, prioritizing romantic relationships. I should start walking towards marriage, that's what I'm saying. And that's not where I am. What, what really um, informs my loneliness, I think, is a lack of a tribe. And so I say all of this to say that if you are a creative person, if you are a creator or creative, it is so, so, so important to surrender, to surround yourself with your tribe, with other people who are on similar life paths as you. And I think I want to do a completely different um, either blog post or something, vlog about what it is to be a single 29 year old Nigerian woman who is not exactly looking for marriage, but who does want family and what what family would look like in this instance and, and who is trying to redefine for herself what family is. Um, well, it's not easy, but yes, yeah, that, that is the essence of my loneliness. And maybe I just want, maybe I just need like a travel part. I want a life partner, but I suppose not in the traditional sense of the word. So there's that. Okay, so this morning I was having a conversation. Let me take my glasses off. I was having a conversation with my sister Janet. And I was telling her about how unmotivated I feel to post onto Instagram and how just like tasking and daunting it is and how distracting I also feel like it is. You know, Janet was talking about how she feels a lot more reserved these days and finds herself not really being able to be herself. And, and I think that that's happening on a larger scale, I feel like because of the changes that are happening within the app um people on the app who were before it's like it's almost like a second wave of instagram is happening um but long story short i think the point is that for me it's conflicting as a creator because i i was writing and blogging and doing all of that before you know being like a content creator got recognized or started being recognized as an actual job and that has like a two-sided thing because on one end it's good because people finally realize that doing this shit is not easy but on the end of a creator it kind of puts you in a sticky situation because what you did before as a way of unearthing as a way of expressing has now become this thing where if you 
want your work out there you you can't just focus on the work alone anymore you have to also on some level focus on selling the work and the best avenue to do so is through like personal branding and I, it reminds me of a moment in film school where someone was talking about how um pitching has become kind of an annoying thing because then people who are just good at writing like there are people who are great at writing but like put them in front of an audience they can't speak there are people who have to write um under is this you know Sudanese is that what they mean you know, under like a different name you know what I mean like there are people who who have the gift of creating but maybe not the gifts of selling and marketing and it's just a very difficult climb to be someone who is just a creator. And yes, I suppose you can always hire someone to do the social media management part, because I guess maybe that's what I'm saying I don't really enjoy, or because of the atmosphere currently. But it makes me miss the part or the point when this used to be something that I did as just a way to express myself to laugh with like people in my community that I probably haven't seen in a long time or people that I know you know not like trying to hustle to get other people and branded content and this and this and this and yeah I, I, I don't know how possible it is to use to use the app for its initial intended purposes any longer. And I feel that truthfully doing so kind of distracts for me from doing the work. Um, so I, I that's, that's part one. I want places, outlets to be able to post all of these things. And I also want to make money. How am I going to do this? For me, for someone like me, if, who doesn't come from generational wealth, I can't pretend that money doesn't matter. I can't remove money as an aspect or from my work. I can't pretend that I don't plan to monetize. Right? And it's impossible to separate those two things from one another. And I find that it's very interesting because in this creative space, privileges are different right and i think that sometimes certain creatives don't always understand that all of a sudden all this noise i think that sometimes certain creatives don't understand that privileges are different and so you'll hear some creatives say don't think about the money the money that the money doesn't matter and i feel like that's really doing a disservice to some of us who have that cushion to fall back on and who do need this to to be what pulls us off the hood not who do need this to be their source of income and it 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 makes me think about how we think about money as this almost dirty thing especially as it relates to us doing or us pursuing money in conjunction with um our passions for a lot of us especially who are um, children of immigrants. Oftentimes when we hear people say, you know, that person's doing very well for themselves or when our parents are talking about a child who's doing well for themselves, they're often referring to that person's economic or socioeconomic status. You know, usually the measurement of our well-doing is is in monetary value, you know, it's, it's in whether or not we're bringing home money. So I feel like <clears throat> for African children creators most especially it's really really difficult to navigate not prioritizing money but at the same time as african people money just does not not matter to us so that's that